Hello, it's Mark from Cars and Cameras, and today we're going to take a look at the new LG 43-inch TV. I'm using it as a computer monitor. This is the new 2018 model. Uh, this is These LG monitors are really cool because uh, every year they get better and better and cheaper. So this is the 43-inch monitor. Um, it's 42.5 inches diagonally, and you can see the connections here. you got uh, four HDMI inputs, and all you need is those inputs to input to your computer. It has built-in speakers. There's one on each side and we'll see how they work on the previous generation models. They work pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and hook this thing up now and see how it is. It's one simple connection you see here to the Mac Mini uh, and we'll work on other computers and we're going to get 4K out of this monitor. So when we get it hooked up here, we will uh, get 4K. So here we go. Here is a 4K and the monitor out of the box will do 30 hertz. And yes, there is software to make it do 60 hertz, but 30 is really not that bad if you just want to plug and play. And here you can see a little sample with Final Cut Pro. It works pretty good. Uh, actually, I think it works really well. And it gives you a lot of screen real estate. So uh, previously, I had unboxed the 41 inch models and getting just that little bit extra uh, out of the monitor, a uh, few in extra inches, uh, it looks pretty good. You can see here's a full screen uh, playback um, out of Final Cut Pro. It's a really, really, really nice TV to use as a computer monitor. Now some uh, features of this one, if you're using it as a TV, uh, it does give you uh, true motion, uh, 20, 120 hertz, and it is HDR compatible. Um, it also is a, a smart TV, so it will have the apps built into it. But for my purposes, I'm just showing it to you uh, as a computer monitor, but you can surely use it um, as a television if you want to. Uh, it's a great 4K TV and very inexpensive. And as I said before, it's just one simple HDMI connection. I'm going to show that to you again. Here it is, one HDMI connection to the TV. You want to make sure you're using the latest HDMI cables when you hook it up. Okay, well, let's take a look at the text on a web page, and you can see it looks pretty good. This is the web page for this monitor, and it looks really, really nice. Now, I also get questions: um, How does it work? Uh, looking, you know, at still photos, uh, you know, how do they look? Because you know, I'm just showing video. Well, let's take a look at some still photos and see what you think. Um, I think they look pretty good. So here's some sample uh, photos that I shot, and they look pretty good. I think. Uh, you know, like I said, for what this is, um, it works really well. This is not a $1,500, $1,600 calibrated computer monitor. It's a television set, and I think it gets the job done really, really well. Okay, here is a 4K recorded sample. This is a 60P slowed down to 24P. This is a ProRes uh, recorded uh, playback sample that you're seeing here. Now, of course, be aware we are looking at this being recorded on a 4K camera to a television monitor, but you get the idea. And it looks really good. It looks really, really good. And uh, like I said, depending on where your market is, uh, these monitors are really inexpensive. I mean, basically, they're 4K TVs, and they have just plummeted in cost. And uh, you can really get a nice computer setup uh, if you go with the Mac Mini, uh, or, you know, if you like a PC, uh, you know, I like the Mac mini for editing and it works really well with Final Cut Pro. So you can get an editing system, uh, really inexpensive here with using a monitor like this and a fraction of what it would cost you to have a uh, Mac Pro. And, um, to display some rumors out there, you can definitely record. I, I, uh, edit feature films with my system here and it works perfectly. I basically have a, uh, a couple of Mac Minis. Uh, I have the i5 model, uh, the current generation, and also the uh, the uh, maxed out uh, i7 model, uh, and they both work fantastic even on long form projects. Uh, I don't have any problem editing them at all with Final Cut Pro. It works great. Um, so that's it, guys. Thank you so much. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, be sure to hit that notification bell so you can see all my new videos. Um, and thank you very much. And we've got some nice and exciting uh, equipment coming up very shortly to share with you. And so, so be sure to tune into my channel frequently. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.